I'd like to begin the message with some thoughts on this subject. What's really happening in our nation? Has it been happening for a long time, or did it just take place overnight? I'd say, first of all, there really is a tremendous weakening and erosion and decay of real New Testament salvation and Christian living. Now, in my generation, I've seen it go on the decline and become a farce instead of a force and a bunch of foolishness instead of faith. We have really, in our generation, have not only stopped having revivals, but the average preacher laughs at the old-fashioned firefall in revival. The once mighty rock of our patriotism has been chipped and battered and bored until now this foundation seems to crumble. We don't have much real patriotism left in this country. We have politicians, vultures, and animals, but we don't have real Christian patriots. I'll stand and say, you can just give me liberty, or give me death. Even though I have respect for old glory, with all of her colors and her illustrious past, I'd say that I'm illegal no matter what she's seen. It sits on top of the flagpole. Her days are numbered. And no longer does old glory fly and wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave. I said we've lost our patriotic spirit in America. When as a little lad I stood in a little one-room schoolhouse, we'd stand as straight as we could to sing, My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. I can't sing that anymore because I don't live in the sweet land of liberty. We're not going to live. And we ought to know when we kicked the Bible out of the school, took it out of the home, and laughed at it in the church, and then began to rewrite it and streamline it, that we'd soon be done as a great nation. And we're running on schedules. I said, first of all, and then I'm going to come to the heart of the message, what's happening? The next thing, and I've already suggested the newspapers, radio, television, are now overwhelmingly dominated by the enemies of our country. And you'll find out that the greatest enemy to old glory and the Christian flag is the television industry and the newspaper media. The magazines and the pornography and all of them are parts of it, every one of them. And someday, though I know they're powerful, I didn't know they were so powerful until they begin to grind on us. But I've got a friend that's more powerful than the whole dirty bunch put together. And that's my hope right there. They're in the habit of grinding anything to power that they don't like. And when they get after it, they'll never stop until they've finished their task. But they may face an unfinished task before this is over. Because God is in the work that he's called us to do. The next thing that's happening in America Communist indoctrination is leading us towards a complete loss of all morality. Breakdown in the home. There's no home anymore. The marriage time means nothing. The marriage vows unnecessary. The marriage license, except for the few tax dollars they get for the license, uh, doesn't amount to anything anymore. The vows of, at the altar are not sacred anymore. And so, that's a part of communism. They're doing their best to destroy the home. What's happening in this country? The next thing I want to say, our children are being taught exactly as in communist countries. The state is supreme. The mother and dad is secondary. The church is not important. And it's a matter of giving your loyalty to something besides Jesus and the home. The family, you've heard a lot about the communication, um, lack of communication and the generation gap and so forth between parents and children, that's exactly what they're driving at. And our older people, mothers and dads, are not the ones to decide the destiny of the children anymore. From daycare center, infants, 
to federally finance education for youth, from grade school through college to scores of welfare programs of every variety for every stage of life and Social Security plus all kinds of other benefits for the elderly. Our people are gradually being persuaded that dependence on the family is an outmoded idea and that all family loyalties should be replaced by loyalties to the communist state. And that's America for you. You may not know what I'm talking about tonight, but you will the next ten years. No longer are the children asked to be loyal and faithful to mother and dad. But just bring your grievances to us. We'll work them all out for you. If you don't like your mother and daddy, you don't have to stay with them. We'll get you out of here. More than likely, your dad's wrong than him. Your mother's wrong than him. That wasn't so back then many years ago.